was like, is it just me or is YouTube frozen? <laughs> frozen. So does everybody know what a shadow cruise is? Are you guys you guys understanding what I'm doing today? Is there anybody that doesn't know what a shadow cruise is? Oh nice Diane. <laughs> yeah, I just restarted a new video, so it should be fine now over there. All right, so, all right, show of hands. How many of you guys buy eyeshadows because you love the shadow, you love the palette, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try out these colors because I always use the same colors. So I'm gonna expand and I'm gonna do this. Well, then you get your stuff and you pull out your palette, but you end up using the same colors over and over again. You don't even give your new colors a chance. Like, you just end up using the same ones. And you're like, oh, well, I'll try it tomorrow. And then you get in this funk where you're constantly using the same colors. You hit pan and all the same eyeshadows, but you never end up using the other colors. And it's not that you don't like them. It's just that you get stuck in this funk where you're comfortable, really comfortable, like, with doing the same look with using the same colors this shadow cruise is for you my dear you need to do a shadow cruise yeah I had to start a new video Anastasia the video quality is much better on YouTube isn't it I like this camera over here I need to get another good camera new no, y'all need some color in your life girlfriend so Shadow cruises, what a shadow cruise is, and I didn't make this up, so I'm not taking credit for it. I don't know exactly who made it up. I got it from a friend who got it from a YouTuber, and I don't know if the YouTuber she got it from got it from someone else. I don't know where it came from. All I know is I got it from a friend. So what you do is you can do it like with just one palette, or you can write down every single eyeshadow you have. And you can even do it where you can separate your mat. You write them all down on pieces like strips of paper. You throw them in a jar, a hat, a bowl, whatever. I've got mine in a vase. And you um, you just draw out. I draw out four. Some of most people draw out three. Hey, girl. Hey, Val. What am I using? Cherry, this is the um, Maybelline Master Fix Set and Perfecting Powder. This is the best powder to set your under eye with. You don't get any flashback. It's translucent. And it's so finely milled, it just melts right into your foundation. I mean, just blurs everything and makes it so nice and um i mean i just can't say enough about this is my favorite powder you can set your whole face with it but i use it just for my under eye because i use a tinted powder for the rest of my face for a little more coverage yeah so what i do is i, I draw out four of these eyeshadows when i'm around when i do a shadow cruise i was doing them every day for a while so i draw out four and then what i do is use those four in the look. You can do other colors, you can use other colors, but you have to use those four in whatever look. So it really challenges you to try new looks, to try new colors, to use colors you normally wouldn't use, and it really draws out your creativity. So now I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. I just use my setting brush, and I just take that and I pat that into my foundation to set my face. I need to mix some more of my CoverGirl tinted powder, it's my loose powder that I normally use. I need to, I need to make some more because I have to mix a couple of shades to get my shade. Would you like to see my jar? <laughs> you would trip out. I even do it with my highlighters because I have so many highlighters. I even created a jar for those. It's sad. It's so sad. Valerie, I cannot wait to meet you in person. So 
Joe asked me last night, I was on my way home from work, and he called me, and he goes, and you know how rough things have been lately, and he goes, so how, how long are you going to be gone for? And I'm like, a few days, why? He's like, so what day are you leaving? And I'm like, the 19th. Like, what day are you coming back? I said, well, 22nd. He goes, so four days. I was like, well, two full days and two half days. And, he, and I said, why? And he goes, what are we going to do without you? <laughs> I'm like, well, like it matters. Like you care. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Off that subject, because that mm -hmm. could get us started, right? <laughs> So let me show you, I just came over to give a little like, aw, yeah, I know the conversation on Facebook is more fun because more people watch on Facebook. Let me guys, let me show you guys the picture I'm raffling off on. Next. Look, look, I came, I saw, I contoured. Stop saying I came, I saw, I conquered. I came, I saw, I contoured. So this is going to be um, raffled off next. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Salt Lake City, Sherry, you should come. You should totally come. Um, a lot of us are going. Um, we're, they're doing a, what they call it a beauty week, but it's more like a beauty weekend. Um, it's, they decided to make it free for everybody. They were charging like 25 or 50 bucks to be able to get in. Um, but now they've decided to make it free so you don't have to pay anything to get in. And, um, they're also paying for your hotel stay. Yeah. So, uh, there's no reason you shouldn't come. I mean, they're paying for your hotel the night of the 21st or the 20th and the 21st of believe. yeah I'm so excited and they're 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 booking it for you and depending you may have to roommate because there's like two beds in each each one so hi Marisol so I'm using a Rimmel bronzer I finally hit pan in this thing it's huge but I paid $2.99. Normally they're $6. This is a really nice bronzer because it's matte. I'll use this one when I don't have something super important to do. And then, of course, I'll use my Because one when I want a really nice bronzer. Hi, Ashley. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Go ahead and take uh, Moses out for me. Please. Um, Pete, maybe Pikachu too, because he didn't go outside when I was hooked. You hear him? He's got his squeaky toy. He's got in his mouth. He's squeaking away. You got your toy, buddy. You got your toy. You want to play fetch? Let go. I'll throw it. Let go. Let go. Ready? Go get it. <laughs> You hear him? <laughs> you got it? You brought it back? Let go? I don't want to play tug of war. Let go. Let go. Stop. Let go. Let go. I'm not trying to play tug of war. Mm -mm. I'm not going to Okay. He'll run. He'll think that I'm, I'm, I didn't throw it and he'll run. What? He's going to go get it. I got it right here. <laughs> he'll come back in a second. Her, she's, she's doing okay. Ah! He jumped, look, look. What, you want this? You want this? You want this? I don't think you can see him, can you? Look at him, he's right here. You want this? My thing won't swivel anymore. <laughs> go get it. Alright, he's gonna go get it. She's doing okay. Um, she's kind of slacked off a little bit on getting in trouble. But um, she is uh, hopefully going to grow out of this soon. <laughs> yeah, I need ones with squeakers in them that are tough. 
Did you go get it? I threw it. He's over here looking at me like, what'd you do with it? I really threw it this time. I took him out early this morning. Hey, Alinta. How's Marissa doing? Bye, Kathy. Is she doing better today? But yeah, so um, I, was took him, I was taking him out early this morning and the guy came, was driving by in a big truck. Looked like some kind of a tow truck or something. Or had a flatbed on the back with like materials on it. And um, I'd never seen him before, but he goes, oh my God. He goes, is that a puppy? And I'm like, yeah. He goes, well, how old is he? I said, six months. He goes, he's big. He's pretty too. He goes, I got me one. That's usually what people say. <laughs> okay, Christine. Thank you, Marisol. Yeah, usually people say, I got one too. That's usually what they tell me whenever they say, hey, Mickey. Good morning. <gasps> what? Well, how'd that happen? Look, he done brought it back over here to me. You brought your toy back? What? They were chasing, the kids were chasing him with balloons yesterday. I got so mad. I'm like, don't do that to him. You're scaring him. And he literally came over here and sat next to me right here on the floor. <laughs> He's like hiding. Look, he got his toy. He's laying down beside me, chewing it. You'll hear him. Sorry about the squeakies, but he's pushing it up against my leg. Like, throw it, mommy. I know. I'm done throwing it. Oh, you're such a sweet puppy. I know. He's like bumping it. Like, take it from me. <laughs> Hi, Michael. The magnetic eyelash. Did you put it on? Were you able to put it on the like the way I did it? Did you cut it into sections? Oh, I'm so sorry, Narissa. I hope she feels better. July is coming soon, Alinta. July is coming soon. You know what happens in July, right? What happens in July? It is, Mickey. It's clearer over on YouTube. It sure is. You're welcome to go hang out over there. You just don't get the, all the conversation that you get over here, you know? There's two people over on YouTube. Who's over there on YouTube right now? I think Mickey's going to come over there and watch. It is a lot better. It is a little blurry here, yeah. The vid the camera's not as good. <laughs> Squeaking it. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, you need to use um like I, I had watched quite a few videos and it wasn't until I watched this one person and she she cut them into sections. Poses, you're so loud. She cut them into sections and put them on, and it works so much better. Yeah, so I recommend doing it that way if, uh, if you can't get them on. Like, the, the problem is the band. <laughs> the voice like goes, oh. <laughs> That's funny. Hi, Charlotte. It looks blurry on my screen, so, it, you know, I see it blurry on my end. But the picture's bigger than it normally is. What are you doing? Stop, don't you that. That's Sophia's crap. No, it was under the bed. I was still talking to you. Yeah, well, you, Facebook is delayed. Facebook is delayed. Yeah, well, Charlotte, um, I run a double live stream, so I do have a live stream up on YouTube if you'd rather watch it there. It's the same video, but it's a lot clearer, so, but, you know, there, more people watch on Facebook, so the chat is more active on Facebook than it is on YouTube. 
Mickey says it's much better. She left Facebook and went to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Deborah's over here too. She said it's much clearer. And it's not always like that. It's every other day I'll swap the good camera. So that way, you know, one isn't left with a good, you know, doesn't always get the good one. I'll swap them every other day. Not yet, Charlotte. We're, I do that towards the end, right at the end. Yeah. The flat brush, it's, I got this from, it's an elf brush. I think I paid a dollar something over at Burlington for it. This one is called a precision, it was a precision contour brush, I believe is what it was called. A precision detail contour brush. I don't know. It has a number on it. It's an elf brush. It's number 108. It's a really nice brush. I like this. Yep. Keeps kicking you out. Well, that sucks, Kathleen. You can go to YouTube. <laughs> It con you use it for contour. Like, I use that mainly because it's small enough to get, like, right there in my um, nose area and make a straight line. I like that. What did I just do? What did I just add it? It's in my sea of dirty brushes over here. Yeah, here it is. Hey, Louise. So, this brush, yeah, so I can go, like, in a straight line. And I usually tap. I don't, like, sh sh but you can also use it like in other areas if you want, but I don't. And then it, it's nice enough to get, like it's still small enough to get this, these curves right there. So it's, I like it. Hey, Kathy. All right. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that Facebook was unfollowing people for them, which is so dumb. Like, why? 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 All right, I'm going to, before I do the rest of my bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and put some eye primer on. This is an, an eye primer from, um... RK by Kiss. It looks like a little genie bottle. I love it. It's so cute. Um, and it is a pretty good eye primer for the price. It's like five bucks for this eye primer. So this is like my, this is my eye primer I'll use when I know I don't have something super important to do. I'll use this one because it works pretty good and it's cheap. But if there's something I need to do, I'll go to my Because eye primer. Does it? I didn't know that. Oh yeah, the little one, huh? The little purple one? I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I think I've had a, a sample size one of those before. That's right. When I, when I first tried it, I put it on my hand. That's how you can tell when you've got a good primer. It smooths out your... Yeah, that's it, Mickey. Yeah. It smooths out your um, skin. That's how you can tell. When you put it on your skin and it kind of makes your, your... Like, you know how you have those skin cells? And you can see them if you get real close. That's how you know when you have a good primer is when it smooths all that out. Because you want that to look like that when you put your eyeshadow on. The one that I buff with, these they're, they're called oval brushes, paddle brushes. Um, what else do you call them? They're, they're called so many things. I have some of these I'm selling that are brand new. And then I have some that are used. I'll probably, they're, they're, they're clean, but I'll probably sell these for like a dollar, two dollars. Like these are the ones that, I, that were used, but of course they're clean. I have like a bunch of them because I got the new, ro I got the rose gold set. So, but these are, I'll be selling these. I mean, if you guys are interested, let me know. And then I have some, some more brand new ones. Those, of course, those will be a little more crazy. Those brushes are really great. Like, hey, Bren, if you're putting on foundation, like it blends out really good, but um, I don't like to use them for that. I'll, I'll use them for dry stuff when you're blend, they blend like a dream. They're so good at blending. Yeah, so good at blending because they, they have a lot of bristles. The thing is, Kathleen, you know, I wouldn't go out and buy a whole set. I would just buy the ones that I would use because when you buy a whole set, you get stuck with some that you don't use. And, you know, they're not all practical in my opinion. They're not all practical. Like even the eye brushes, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't use them because they're just kind of weird. <laughs> Your face is picky. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So I'm using a banana. Um, it's by Ofra. It's like a single um, banana setting powder. I just put that right under my brows before I do brows. They are very nice. I just, I don't like, I don't prefer to use 
the little eyeshadow brushes. Like, to me, they're not practical. I mean, you could use them for things like contouring and different things, you know, to apply like, like I did here. But I, I found brushes that are way better than our multitaskers, so I don't prefer to use those. All right. I'm going to go in with my second bronzer. It's doing a $25. I saw that. I saw that. I'm just interested to see what's in it. Hey, Shelly girl. Shelly, Shelly, Boca Lee, Banana, Fanta, Boca Lee, me, my Mona Lee. Shelly. All right. I need to put some moisturizer on my lips. Lips. Let's see. I still got to go and buy a bunch of stuff to place some orders. I'm so busy. I don't have time to do anything. Ofra's nice. I like the lipsticks too. They're, the Ofra lipsticks are really nice. I still have lipstick on from yesterday. Holy crap. Hmm. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. What I use, I no, don't let your brushes soak. You don't never want to submerge your brushes in any kind of water that'll ruin them because what happens is when you look at a brush this right here the bristles go down in there right so if you submerge your brush in, wa in water your the water gets trapped in here and it creates mold and mildew and um, will start to break down your bristles as well so what you do is um, you want to run them under you know put them under running water I use and you can do the spray and wipe thing too, yeah. But I like to use antibacterial hand soap. I use Dial. Dial's the only one that will work for me to get all, all of it clean. And sometimes you have some that are a little stubborn. So I have this, and I don't have it in front of me. But e.l.f., I got it off of e.l.f.'s website. It's inside of a jar. It's a brush and sponge cleaner. So what it is is inside the jar, it's like a bar of soap. It's really weird. It's like a black bar of soap, but it's round, and it fits inside the jar perfectly. And it has a lid. So if I have some that are sub stubborn after using the dial, I go in and swipe it around in that, and then do, do it like this on my hand, and it comes right off. But I have a brush cleaner pad that I use that also. And what I do is um, you want to hang them upside down and dry them upside down so the water, if there's any that did get in the stem, it, it comes out. And then I'll take the bigger brushes, and I'll do it like this. Now it makes a mess, so you'll have a mess to clean up when you're done. But I do this and it gets a lot of the water out because the water, it spins the brushes and it gets a lot of the water out. But the antibacterial stuff is perfect because it kills the bacteria. Your face has all this, these oils and stuff and there's a lot of germs that comes from that. And if you have bad breakouts, a lot of time it's, times it's because your brushes aren't clean. It has been a minute for the shadow cruises. Cracking. Are you mean your foundation's cracking or your skin's cracking? No, don't let them suck. So, so, suck. Soak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, so, Mickey says. And that's exactly what happened to this when I got super fluffy. But if you take a clothespin or a bobby pin and you you flatten out your fan brush after you wash it, it'll dry flat again. Which I need to do that when I wash this one again. I'm glad you mentioned that because I didn't think to do that um, because I need to do it with this one. But yes, because they do, they get super fluffy. Your fluffy blending brushes, you'll be so happy when you clean them and you do that because it does that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Hi, Patty. I clean my. All right. I hate using dirty foundation brushes, so I try not to use a foundation brush more than once. But I have so many brushes that I can afford to do that. But I try to wash them. It's lately I've been so busy I haven't had time to wash them like I should. But I try to wash them like once a week or once every other week. But like I said, I have so many brushes I can afford to do that. Not everyone has so many brushes that they can. And so they would probably wash them more often. But um, it is good to wash your brushes maybe once every other week at least. 
It just depends. Especially whenever you have ones that you're using liquids or creams with, you kind of want to wash those a little more often. But make sure you're using a gentle cleanser because the bristles will tend to break down if you use too much stuff. Yeah, I use, I, that dial seems to get it pretty clean, Mickey. And make sure when you're washing beauty blenders, you're not rubbing the beauty blender on your hand and you're not rubbing it on the soap. Um, I would recommend, I put the soap in my hand and I lather it up and then I take it and I squeeze it like this and, and you know, you run it under the water and you keep squeezing it. That's how you get them clean because you will ruin the integrity of the of the sponge by rubbing because you're rubbing and it, and it makes it the, the fabric break. I've, I have some of those, but I usually use them if I'm like shipping brushes to somebody, like a nice brush. I need to buy some more. But those aren't really good for um, drying. They're more good for storing or ship or like, tra you know, transportation reasons. Look at that gray hair right there. Oh my gosh. No one's going to believe that I'm 29 if they see that. <laughs> oh, I got more of them right there. I need somebody to come along and like pull them all out for me. I'm going to name this one right there Joe. Right there. <laughs> Mascara. Yeah, see, I, I'm like, I'm pretty much like that too, Andrea. I'll wash my foundation brushes in between, you know, uses but I have so many so I don't that's why I have so many because I don't have time to wash them every day it is good to wash them that's it, because you because you kind of need to wash them often it's good to get a gentle cleanser that works well is that what you used to do Mickey <laughs> My birthday is November 28th. When is yours? <laughs> I'm not really 29. I've been 29 for six years. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to use this tart um, blush today. <laughs> We're all 29, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you got a birthday coming up, Ashley. November 29th, Diane? Or September? You thought you were older than me? No way. It's funny because I get a, a lot of times people think I'm a lot younger than what I am. I don't know if it's because I act, do I act young or does I just look young? Like, what? you know, if you see my kids, you're like, oh, you must be older than what you are because of. Uh, This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay. We got this out of Ipsy, I think it was, in the shade Feisty. It's like this really pretty, like, peachy, earthy looking. I love it because it's not one of those shiny ones. I think I think this color would look like look good on just about anybody. I look younger. <laughs> yeah, I love this one. And I finally am going to probably use, you got the brighter one. What was the name of that one? It was another interesting name, wasn't it? I always put blush on it. All. It seems like it's dark, but once you do your eyes, your blush doesn't. Allie Mae, I have not figured it out yet. You guys want to, we'll draw the colors out. Let's, let's do that now. Let's do that now. Hey, everybody, one inquiring mind wants to know. All right, so this is my jar for my shadow cruise. I have not entered all of them yet. I still have more palettes I have to enter in. 
My skin's only flawless because of the makeup. <laughs> if I didn't have the makeup on, it wouldn't be flawless. All right, so we are going to pull out four colors. Let's see. I'm going to try to mix them up because I didn't have some new ones in the top. Let's see. What do you mean? Alright, Makeup Revolutions, Mermaid Forever. Mermaid's Forever. Let me pull that palette. Let's see. Alright, so that's this palette. Row 4, color 5. So this is this palette. Row 4, color 5. We got 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Purple. You know what kind of day this is going to be already. Alright, this one is one of the... I don't know if it's because I have stuff on my finger it's not all right listen you know like when you try to like use it and it's got this film over it do you see that like this oily film this one right here what you do is to fix that problem you don't have to dig at your eyeshadow and mess it up tipsy okay you take some scotch tape okay this is what you do you put it over the eyeshadow you can use this on other stuff too, not just eyeshadows. Make sure you like press it in because you're, what you're doing is you're going to pull that oil, oily film off the top. And it could be because I had like concealer and stuff on my finger. Sometimes they're just crappy eyeshadows, but you do that and it rips off that oily film. So that way uh, you can then use your eyeshadow like you, like it was when you first bought it. All right. See, you do learn stuff from me. See, I teach. I teach stuff. Okay. I need a sponge brush. Let me swatch it with a sponge brush because my finger is probably messing with the formula. Alright. Oh, did you? Um, I don't think I did that live. You might have to go to um, my Instagram. There's. I have, I have a couple of mermaid looks on my Instagram. Alright, so here's my... And I, it was just a picture. So there's the, the purple that I just drew. All right. So now we're going to do the next color. Hi, Mandalene. Any new palettes? Yes. I have some BH Cosmetics palettes. There's one sitting right here. I have not entered this one in yet. This is the Urban Luxe 99 color. I have to put 99 more shades in there. Um, and then I got some... Um, I didn't put my crate finds in there yet. Essence bronze. Okay, let me pull that out. Alright, yep, yeah, it's this one. Essence bronze. Okay. Here it is. Okay. So this palette. Essence bronze. Row two color three. One, two, three, this one here. These palettes are cheap and they are very nice. They, they are very smooth, pigmented, sorry, this color right there, all right? So that's two. I usually draw four. I always tend to end up pulling out all freaking shimmers, so. See all the brushes and makeup you have to sell. I usually do videos or I'll do um, raffles. So if you go to my profile and look, um, I usually post stuff there. And um, or if you just ask, I can be like, "Well, I have this, and this is how much I want for them, or whatever." I've done auctions, live auctions. It's so much fun to do the live auctions. All right, nude profusion palette. All right, let's see. Let me put this back up. Sorry, I know Facebook always gets me when I do when I go up here like this. It's like they get me in a boob shot every time. Hold on. I have so much stuff. There's probably in here. So this one, this palette here, row one, color 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. 
So it's this like rose pink color. That'd be a good transition shade. Because it's a nude shade, it's not really showing up that great, but it'd be a good transition. Okay. And then I do have stuff. I have a page called Because It's Because It's Lois. I have that and I posted stuff there. So you could also check that out. Alright, one more, one more, one more. Let's see what we get. Alright. Alright, let's see. Come on. I have a button case. Okay, I got this off of Wish. This right here. That's right, it's called Live with Lois. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> Thank you. Row three, color three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Got another gold. Uh oh. I have a bronze and then I have a gold. So it looks like I'm doing purple today. Now with the Shadow Cruise, you can do, you can do, um, sorry, this is the gold right here. You can do more colors with what you're doing or stick to just the ones you have. Sometimes when you're pulling, like I pulled all shimmers just now except for one. So sometimes you'll have to incorporate other shades just to complete the look. Sometimes it can be challenging to, to use just those colors. And um, sometimes I have I have done it where I've not had to do that. But I am going to pull, um, it's called Live with Lois. Thank you, Tiffany. Yes. All right, so these are my highlighters. So let me pull one of those out so I can find out which highlighter I'm using. I do have some new ones I need to put in there. I forgot. This one. <laughs> Amanda. Amanda's got OCD. She's like, fix your earring. Alright. Let's see what highlighter I drew. These are all small palettes that I pulled today. They're so light, you can't feel it. <laughs> Dream Glow in the shade Baked. Or Dream Glow Bait. Sorry, it's a baked palette. Number two. All right, let me pull this out. Dream Glow Bait. It's gonna be. Yep, this is this palette right here. Hey, hey, this one. Alright, so number two. So they're baked highlighters, and I'm using this shade today. So it looks like this. And there's the highlighter. Of course, it's baked, so it'll be a lot more vivid once I use it. Good morning, Josan. Hey, Yvonne. Hey, Rose. <laughs> we need to put that on a t-shirt. Make that bed. You guys are terrible. You're just terrible. I always like because I have like I, I need to do I need to do some more organizing because I have so much stuff. But um, I have like those boxes I usually keep like over here and. Um, so when I come over here to sit down, I have to take them and move them over here so I can get into my box. I have room to put it in, just too lazy, I guess. Or I'm not lazy, I just don't have the time. So, you got my shirt, Rose? Alright, cool. Perfect. Alright, so let me do some brows. But yeah, so, um, I end up having to take that and move it onto the bed. So it always looks like I got a bunch of crap on my bed, besides kids. <laughs> I got kids and crap on my bed. I'm fixing to do a brow, so y'all know I can't talk. I'm not talented enough to talk to do brows at the same time. So let me get this done. You may talk amongst the sales for now. I use um, the Ebon New York Brow Gel, and I use my Because Cosmetics eyebrow brush. That is the only brow brush I. Uh, that's like my favorite. I'm, I, if I don't use it, it's because it's dirty and it really needs to be washed. Like, it's super dirty. So, right now we're good. And I do need to wash it. Though. When you're using a gel, sometimes 
your brush starts to get so dirty that it needs to be washed or it doesn't perform properly. And it lasts for a while, but it does tend to get moody on you. And you know, you don't, when you're using a product, you don't have to be like me and completely make them super dark. You can totally um, spread the formula a little thinner and it will be lighter for you. But I like a nice bold brow. It makes you look younger, allegedly. And I'm told that thicker brows make you look younger too. And people don't believe me when I tell when you say it, but when you explain it, it makes a lot of sense. And I'm going to challenge you guys to do this because you're like, you're, that's not true at all. Yes, it is. Go pull one of your pictures from when you were a kid, teenager even, and look at your brows. And then look at your brows now. Were your brows thicker when you were younger? I think like 99% of us can say yes. Now, if you say no, that there's one of two reasons. One, because you don't probably never do anything with your brows <laughs> and you don't tweeze them, pluck them, whatever. Two, maybe you're not old enough to really see the difference yet. Number three, because maybe when you were younger, you just didn't grow a lot of hair like the rest of us. Well, I have hair all over the place. Be looking like a man sometimes, but a girl. Be all up in the barber shop talking about fix me up. Make me look like a lady again. <laughs> hey, hey Cassie. Sorry guys, you know I'm I can't talk and do brows at the same time. It's not about the talking, it's the reading. I can't stop and read because then my brow gel dries. I have to work it really fast. Alright. Do I like that shape? I don't know how I feel about it. Alright, let me go ahead and flip the brush around. And do... This is why I love this, this brush so much. It, they, it looks like hair. I literally can do a stroke and it'll look like a hair. My fake hair. I wish I could buy this brush separately without the um, set because I could sell them all day long because people like them so much. But you have to buy the set to get the brush. Good morning, Francis. And they are black. I love them. Hold on, let me see. Good morning. Unruly, yes. I have some unruly ones. Oh. I'm like, get back in line. Fall back in line. What's wrong with you? You are not in charge, you unruly hair. You are not in charge. I totally just messed up. <laughs> Alright, let me get a little bit 
more. This stuff's drying. Ooh. Probably am I going to have to conceal a little bit of that. I totally went out of structure with that. Good morning. <laughs> this one's a lot thicker. Go on with these hairs. Oh, I didn't squeeze the brush. Should have. There we go. Okay, Jessica. I see you. Okay, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> but I can definitely tell where I went a little crazy on this side. The arch is a little higher, so I'm gonna go over here and just Good morning. I see you sent me a voice clip. It gave me a notification this time. <laughs> so I'll be listening to that when I get off. And I'll be overnighting. I'm going to go to the post office before I go to work today. Yesterday I didn't get off of work till like 6 o'clock. They were closed. So you should receive that package before noon tomorrow or they refund you your money. When you over some overnight something. <laughs> yeah. You knew I was live. Huh? You knew I was live. Well, I guess it didn't mess up too bad underneath here. It's alright. I'll leave it. But yeah, so when you overnight something, they tell you that if you don't get it by noon the next day, yeah, let's do that. And I have, I, um, that palette, because I'm going to send that too, but I'm going to have to send her the one I was using because somebody received theirs and it was broken, so I just shipped them the other one that I had. So I'm going to send her mine. I mean, I barely used it. But I'm going to send her something else, too, because I feel bad sending her a used palette. So I'm going to send her mine. I have so many eyeshadow palettes, it's not a big deal. But I'm going to send her something else to go along with it. She's going to like it. Be oh, my God. Becky, look at her butt. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Hi, Julie. It's okay, I promise. I have so many other... And actually, I bought... An, I didn't have the same exact ones because I, I went to go look to see if I could find the same palette because I kind of wanted... I told her, oh, we'll have the same palette. And that was what was bothering me because I wanted us to have the same palette. But I couldn't find the same exact one, so I got a smaller one. I'm going to keep that one. So it's all good. <laughs> all good. Okay, I'll find out when I get there. Shouldn't be too bad because you're not that far. Are you? <laughs> yeah, the chat's all over here mostly. But now we got some chatty Cathy's over here on, on YouTube. And the video is a lot better, right? 
know if I can get all you guys to go over to YouTube, but I hear that YouTube Live eats up more data than Facebook Live. Which is crazy. You would think a lot, any live stream would be about the same. Hi, Monica. All right, we're going to go ahead and pray. I didn't see anybody that had any particular prayer requests, so we're going to go ahead and pray. Um, if I can get you guys just to bow your head and um, just listen if you want to. If you don't want to pray, that's fine. But we pray here. <laughs> so, Lord, we come to you this morning. I want to thank you so much. Again, I know I say it every day, but it's because I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank you for putting each one of these ladies in my life. And in my path today, um, I want to thank you so much for just what they mean to me and how they just brighten my day. And I hope to be able to do the same thing for them. Lord, I just pray that you look after all of us as we go through our day safely and help guide us in making decisions that will glorify you. And that can make a difference in someone else's life, Lord, even if it's just a smile and a kind word that's free for us to give. Lord, I just ask right now that you just please bless bless whoever needs it right now there are people there's somebody right now listening to this prayer that is struggling with something whether it's medically financially maybe there's a relationship on the rocks right now lord that just needs your help there are families out there right now suffering from the loss of a loved one there are families right now that are suffering from illness there's families out there right now that are they're having a rough time due to financial or trauma in the family that just needs your help right now, Lord. Put your healing hands on them. Let them know you're in control and that you can get them through this. Give them your strength to rely on, Lord. Let them know that you need them and they need you. Lord, I just ask that, that everybody know that they can come to you and they can pray to you directly that they don't need to ask me or anybody else to pray for them, Lord, that they can do it. They, they can do it straight through you, Lord. That's why when you sent your son to die on the cross, that just kind of opened it up for us. The veil was torn and we were able to come to you directly, Lord. We didn't need a priest to pay, pray for us, Lord. We didn't have to go through anybody. We can do that ourselves. And I thank you so much for that sacrifice that was made for us, for us. Lord, I thank you so much for the little things in our lives that makes the difference and the little miracles that we sometimes take for granted and overlook. And I just pray that everyone, including myself, can look at those little miracles and realize that that is all you, all you, all the accomplishments that I've made in my life, all the things that I've done is all your works. I know sometimes I feel like things are coincidence or that I've set it all up myself or I've done things and i got to remember to be humble and know that, that it all happened because of you. Because mm -hmm. even though I kind of feel proud sometimes, <laughs> if certain things didn't happen because you didn't make it happen, they wouldn't have happened. It couldn't have happened. The things that I wanted to do wouldn't have happened had you not done your work. So thank you so much, and I pray that you just keep me humble. I love you, and I praise you. I thank you so much for everything, everything and everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. Tiffany. Okay. All right, let's get some eyes done. Eyes. <laughs> Alright, so I only drew one matte shade out of the bunch, and it was like this pink, flat pink color. Hey, Sonia. Oh, Sophia. Like, she always wakes up grumpy. She does, she's not a morning person. Tasha. We get Tasha to wake the rest of the kids up for me. She's out wandering around right there. Can you go ahead and wake everybody up until we get ready to go to Grandma's? What happened to your face? Huh? I just No, you got marks all over your face. Come here. What is that? Let me see. Let 
You've been playing with a marker or something? I was playing with paint. Let's get all of it. It's face. red paint? Yeah. yeah, this stuff right here. That's paint. Okay. <laughs> all right. Just making sure I didn't know what that was. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? First, I thought they were scratches all over her face. I'm like, what you, who you been fighting with? <laughs> all right. So, we're going to go in with that matte, that matte pink color. This pan is so small. Getting this big old brush in there is like hard. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with these eyeshadows. <laughs> There's eyeshadows. So I've got two shades of gold, like one bronze and one gold, a purple, and then this one. I might incorporate a blue just to kind of tie my outfit together. If you guys have never used Profusion before, it is a very like inexpensive brand and they um, have some pretty good stuff. Like I've never bought anything Profusion that I didn't like. So I know that Target sometimes carry, carries Profusion, especially around the holidays. You normally see a lot of Profusion around the holidays. So you can find it at like Walgreens, Walmart, um, uh, CVS will sometimes I think carry Profusion, but I'll find it at places like DD's Discount, um, Burlington, Target, places like that. I never see it in like Ulta or anything like that. No, none of the fancy places. But. You can also get a Profusion online. Alright, I'm going to put some under eye primer on. This is a hard candy under eye primer. If you put eyeshadow under your eyes, it's a good idea to um, get an under eye primer because it really helps to amplify the color under there and hold it. Um, I didn't know that. Um, the brush I was using is just a fluffy brush. When they're real fluffy like this, they call them crease brushes. So that's what I was using. So I was using a crease brush. I like brushes that have the names of them on there. But um, So this is a pencil brush. So I'm using the under eye primer. I put a little on, on my hand. So I'm using a pencil brush. And I'm just going to go and just lightly brush that under the eye. Eyelashes. Right under the lash. You don't want to go too far down, but... And I always apply the under eye primer after I've set my face and stuff because if you put it on before, whenever you go to put your um, concealer or your setting powders of any kind, it will grab, it will grab those and make it look so dry and cakey, it looks so gross. You may be able to, um, Amanda. You might be able to, but there's some there's a there's a hydrating agent in these under eye ones that's good for your under eye area. So that's why I, I use these. Like the um, Smashbox one is called hydrating under eye primer, <laughs> um, and they kind of feel cool to the touch. Like I don't I don't I can't explain it. This one actually comes with one of those massage. That's a lot of. <laughs> that's just it's too huge I couldn't put that much eye primer under there so I can't use that big applicator I mean that's a lot of under eye primer to be using to, for that big old applicator that's just too much and you know when you put the under eye primer you don't have to be super neat with it because you'll be blending eyeshadow under there so and it never really looks patchy either even though it kind of looks like it's like not even, it never looks patchy. I never have that problem. Yeah, and this is not going to look natural when I'm done, Diane. <laughs> this is not going to be a natural look. 
Alright. What to do, what to do. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. Alright, alright, alright. I think I know what I'm doing. Oh no. Alright, this one's gonna go last. What color did I have? This one right here. Okay. <laughs> Back again. Hey, Nicole. Alright. So I'm gonna use that gold row three color three out of this button case. Alright, so I'm gonna go with this little sponge brush because it does the little sponge brushes they do pick up a lot of pigment and that's what I need right now. Ooh, I gotta make sure I'm not using the wrong one. Okay. Alright. Moses, what are you doing? So I'm gonna go right in. I'm gonna like I'm not swiping. Let me bring you guys in just a little bit. Can you guys see okay over here? Let me bring you in. Okay. So I'm not swiping, I'm just tapping it on. And I may go back and, and foil these, I'm not sure. I'll figure that out after I get it on my eye. But I'll put that lighter shade of gold. I'm gonna go in with the brush in a minute and put it in my crease just a little bit. He slept in. Oh, let him sleep. Let him sleep. That's the good thing about summer. Yeah, I didn't mean to sleep in as late as I did today. I was like, oh man, I woke up late. But it's okay because the houses that I'm going to go clean, they, um, their kids are um, teenagers, so I know they sleep in too. So they're not going to want to see me at 8 a.m. <laughs> All right, so now I'm using um, just a blending brush. You can use a blending brush. You could use a packing brush or whatever, but I'm gonna pat that first, like right there, right above. I don't want it to be super like opaque, so I'm kind of just like patting and then kind of swiping just a little bit. Foiling is where you wet your eyeshadow. You can use a setting spray, rose water. You can use, um, you can use regular water even. You foil it. So when you wet it, it really, really, really gets super like like metallic. That's what foiling is. It looks like foil. <laughs> and the reason I went with this shape brush is because it's rounded. So it kind of fits like right in the eye right there. Yeah, I'll probably, I'm going to foil these. Let me get them on the eye first and get my space so I can blend later. Mo, what is he doing? He's like stomping all through the house. Can y'all hear Moses running through the house? <laughs> Moses, what are you doing? Alright, so I'm going to go now with the Essence one that I was using and the color that was, it was bronze, like a bronze color. Row 2, color 3. All right, let me find a side that I haven't used. I'm gonna wipe it off. All right, I'm gonna use, again, I'm gonna use this little sponge brush. Don't ever throw your little sponge brushes away, ever, ever, ever. So what this is doing is, guys, crease brushes are a little bit bigger, so they cover the whole um, area of your eye easier. And then, um, a blending brush, are, they tend to be a little stiffer so that you can um, blend your your, bris your bristles. The bristles tend to be a little stiffer so you can blend easier. And they tend to be smaller. So if you look, so this was this is the crease brush. See how much bigger it is versus the blending brush? And then these are a lot softer and these are a little stiffer. Yeah, the crease brushes tend to be a little bigger so that way you can do what you gotta do faster. <laughs> I hope that made sense. If I don't make any sense, let me know. I promise I'll try to explain better. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna use that to do that. What are you doing, crazy boy? What have you been did you did you just get yelled at? Because you're over here hiding under my legs. You're so big. You're so big. I know. Oh no. Did you get yelled at? The kids yelled at you. Tell them to play with you. You're just a baby puppy. You just want to play. I know. Are you eating something? What you got in your mouth? 
Oh, you have a squeaker. He got a he got a squeaker out. That's what he was doing. Where did that come from? You done tore up another toy, huh? He loves toys. Oh my gosh. I know, buddy. Hey, Colleen. Hey, Michelle. All right, so I'm just using that to stamp it on. So I'm not gonna foil it in the lid. I'm just gonna foil it. I mean, I, I'm only foiling on the lid, I'm sorry. So when I go back in to foil these shadows, now I'm using the, the, the edge of this brush to kind of like blend these two colors together. I'm barely barely touching it, but I'm kind of like just dragging that, that gold over the bronze just a little bit. And that'll help to like blend them together without mixing them completely up. All right, so now I'm gonna go in, and I know these edges, are they look a little rough at the top, but I'm gonna go back in with a blending brush close to, towards the end and blend that line out. So now I'm gonna go in the, with the Mermaids Forever palette and get that purple. Y'all know how much I hate doing purple. Oh, y'all know, y'all know what's up. If y'all watch my videos, you know why I'm not allowed to wear purple. So we're doing, we're, we're, we're gonna be brave this morning. And we're gonna wear purple. trying this color is I should probably put more tape on it it kind of looks more blue than purple huh? all right I gotta do something else because that brush <clears throat> I need a stiff I'll use this one so this is a real techniques Insta Pop crease brush is what it's called but it's like slanted and then it's flat on that side but you don't use this side you use this side mm -hmm. so I'm gonna dip that into this purple and see if I can get that pigment to these are a little stiffer this formula is a little stiffer so I'm just putting the color on the outside Diana Knight Oh, Diane, good night. <laughs> like, huh? Who's Diane tonight? It is looking more blue, so that's good. <laughs> Don't look like I'm wearing purple. Okay, yep. Let's see. Okay. I love Real Techniques brushes, they are nice. This, this eyeshadow is hard to blend from this Makeup Revolution palette. I, I don't normally have issues with Makeup Revolution, but this palette sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm using my little tape trick again and see if I can get some more of that oily stuff off. Moses, what is that? What is that? What is that? What are you doing over here? Go. Go. Are you bleeding? He's bleeding. Hold on, come here, buddy. Come here. Moses. Why are you bleeding? Come here.
Okay, go clean this up over here. He's not down on the thing. Grab that up right here. Grab the towel and move it next time. Yeah, he's bleeding. He's got, um, he cut his, his toe. He might need stitches. Let me just call Joe real fast on Messenger. Well, that spot over there, that, and then over here. Don't don't let him on the carpet, okay? Hey, where are you working at? Uh, Moses needs to go to the vet. He cut his toe and he needs stitches on the air vent. I guess he was running through the house playing and he um, he snatched it on the air vent. He's, he's going to need stitches. He's bleeding everywhere. He's going to lick it. Let him lick it and clean it. It's okay. Just don't let him on the carpet, okay? It's like there's a gash in it. He's gonna need stitches in it, I'm thinking. Huh? No, it's on the top, but it's bleeding everywhere. It's a pretty big gash. You want me to take a picture of it and send it to you? It looks pretty deep. Like, he must have got it stuck in the vent. No, he didn't. He didn't? But he snatched it pretty hard then because... And he's, like, going crazy. You know, like... You know, like he, you know how dogs are when they, like when they smell blood or whatever, like he was going crazy, like he was sniffing it and licking everywhere that the blood was. Yeah, it probably does hurt. We were trying to put pressure on it and he don't want us touching it. Um, over an oak leaf. Well, no, because it's not after hours. If it was after hours, we would have to go to the emergency vet. If I drop him off and you get off in time to pick him up, you'd have to be there by 6 p.m. when they close. Yeah, you're going to be there before 6. Why? Might have to buy him a muzzle. The blood won't come out. Um, Alright, I'll call him right now. Hold on. to buy him a muzzle. Alright, I'm doing my video soon. So I'm done. doing my video right now as soon as I'm done. Alright, bye. Here, go take a picture of it for me. And so we can send it to daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, this eyeshadow is so hard to work with. Yeah, I'm going to have to call um, Banfield and go drop him off. Man, it's always something, ain't it? Always something to throw a wrench into your day. Remember I told you he would sound like he was stomping through the house? He was. He was, you know, playing or stomping. You know, our, our AC vents are on the floor. Have an older house here on the floor, and I guess he got his he must have like s stepped down on it pretty hard to break it. He would rip it off the way he's licking it. Jacket. It's kind of blurry. See if you can get a better picture and closer, a closer picture. I'm trying to get hurry up and get this eyeshadow on so I can call it that. This eyeshadow is so freaking hard to blend. I might just go ahead and foil this one so it can be going. Oh, there we go. Maybe that's that brush. Alright, sorry guys. I'm going to go ahead and blow through all this so I can get it done. I was wondering why he was acting like that. Remember he came over here and sat beside me? 
and I, he was chewing on his little squeaky toy and I thought maybe he was hiding from them because maybe they were yelling at him for running through the house because he's like a bulldozer like he will literally like run you over and um Yeah, and with, with him, he's getting aware he is, he doesn't like strangers so much anymore. But we need to start bringing him around people more because he is good. Yeah, so now we use, here. Oh, send it on this one. Yeah. I got a couple of bad ones because he kept on moving. Yeah, he don't want to stay still. Okay. Is it sad? He's bleeding a lot. Yeah. There's not a blood on the neck. Are you on the what? Like this. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Try cleaning the blood down here, but it you gotta soak it. Keep okay. spraying. We'll get get the grab the dish soap and then see if that helps. Moses was running through the house and he stuck his, I guess he got his foot stuck in the air vent and he got a gash in his toe, is bleeding all over the place. Alright, so I'm gonna, I guess instead of going straight to work, I'm gonna have to, there's always something, <laughs> always something. <laughs> I'm going to put some more of that bronze. In the center. Over the purple a little bit so I can blend it. Alright, so now I'm going to take the corner of it, the edge of it, and just pull it into the purple. So I'll wipe that off and pull it the other direction now. So it can have a seamless blending. Now wipe it off and go for the other direction. Alright, now I'm going to go back in with that gold from the other palette. And I'm going to go right there. So I'm done with the top. I remember I said I was going to incorporate some blue. I don't think I want to use any of these palettes. Well, yeah, I'll use this one. The little button case works a lot better than the other one. Alright, so this is another Real Techniques brush. This is the Real Techniques smudge brush. Sorry. Looks like this, and it looks like this. It's just it's dirty. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this blue. It's like a similar to the shade of my shirt. I'm gonna go in under the eye with that color. I know it looks weird. Like why are you using? Cause I gotta do something blue. I might try to put a little purple 
towards the edge of where the blue is, like on the outer corner, just to kind of marry the two colors together. But I'll do that when I'm done with the blue. Mm -hmm. All right. Actually, I'll probably have to drop them off first. Alright. I'm going to go in with a, um, another sponge brush, or smudge brush, I'm sorry, like a stiffer one. And just blend out the bottom of where that blue was. You always want to do that because when you put that eyeshadow on, it is so um, bold. You get this bold line, and you just want to blend it just ever so slightly, not all over, but just right around the edge. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, this is a smudge brush, just like the one I was using. This is just one from a from BH Cosmetics. And this is a really good smudge brush, too. Hi, Sedona. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna use a smaller brush. This is like a precision detail brush. This is from Morphe. This is the E, E37. So I'm gonna use purple. And I'm just gonna go, actually, I probably should use the other one. I'm gonna mix two shades of purple, because I'm not using that same palette I was using from the other purple. But I'm just going to go in like right here around the corner just to kind of like bring a little bit of the purple into the blue so it kind of makes more sense to have the blue there. I just had to have the blue so that way it would tie stuff together, my outfit, <laughs> with my uh, the rest of my eyes. Because I definitely wasn't going to wear a blue, a blue lipstick, so that wasn't going to happen. Although, I do have blue lipstick. Alright, so I added a little purple in, and now I'm going to take that same smudge brush, and I'm just going to blend it in just a little bit. Not too much, because I don't want to blend it away. Let me call my mom because she is driving me nuts. Hold on. Is this the phone I was just using? You got a brush that has a rubber head? Does it look like this? Um, I'm doing my video still, but Moses just, he just cut his toe really bad, so I'm probably going to have to take him to the vet. So, I'm, I mean, I'm going to drop the kids off first, but he's got a huge gash and it's bleeding everywhere. And, um, he might need stitches. Uh, he was running and playing through the house, and I guess he got his foot stuck in the air vent somehow. Like, he must have stomped on it and, like, broke it or something. And, um, so it... We're trying to keep him off the carpet right now because it's bleeding real bad. I'm trying to finish my video so I can get out of here. Um, and then, uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get the car from you. I promise. It's just, I didn't even get home last night until 8 o'clock. That's why Joe picked up the kids. Now, I got to drop off the kids because I'm, I'm, I'm working across the street pretty much from the vet. So I, I, it would make more sense for me to drop him off at the vet and then go to work. So I'll drop off the kids first and then go by the vet, do what I, or drop him off and then go to work. And then Joe's going to pick him up later. So I got to go to the post office at some point today. There's people waiting for me to bring stuff, drop stuff off. So I had a lot to do. 
All right, let me get off here. All right, all right, love you, bye. Does my mom don't work, she don't do, she don't, I mean, she works around her house, but that's about it. But she does, she always thinks I have time to just drop everything and do what she needs me to do. I'm like, mom, of all people you should know, and I can't. It is, it's not, no, that, it's not a silicone brush. Sorry, I was on the phone. What the brush is for is, um, mine is an, it's called an arch detailer brush. It works really great for highlighters, like a highlighting shade. You use it for like inner corner and then for your eye, like under your brow area. If you have a silicone one, do you have a silicone one? Is it silicone or is it sponge? I have a silicone one. The silicone one is for glitter. You use it for glitter. So this is a Because Cosmetics um, gel, precision gel eyeliner. This eyeliner I showed you guys like during during the, the funeral, even crying my eyes out when I was done, I still had my eyeliner on. <laughs> you know, it works really good. I used it under the eye and smudged it out and it lasted through all of that. So it's, it is smudge proof. I'll just clean it up. Is it hard? Was the red hard? Like it was a crayon or something? What did it look like? Huh? Does it look like blood? I just want to try to figure out. No, okay. He probably ate something he shouldn't have. She always says that. She never uses like her. Doesn't get to the point. I'm like, dude, I'm too busy. Just get to the point. She's the type of person that likes to say something and she wants you to ask her questions. I'm like, just say what you need to say. <laughs> All right, so this is the pretty vulgar. Um, <laughs> this is the pretty vulgar eyeliner we got out of BoxyCharm, the gel or cream, whatever they call it, eyeliner. And this brush, I bought this from a beauty supply store. I can't remember for the life of me what brand it was, but it was super cheap. It was like $2. And it, it claimed to be the best eyeliner brush. And it's pretty pretty good eyeliner brush I have to say um, so that's what I've been using for all my little gel eyeliners that I get in the pot and it even can do a wing pretty good so it works out pretty good I'm such a lines person like all my lines have to be straight it drives me nuts <laughs> all right so you got to make sure this brush is completely flat what I'll do is I'll like like squish it up against the barrel of the um, rim of the pot, the gel pot, so it flattens it out, and then I'll go in for the wing. So I try to aim so I can get both sides even from this corner to about the tip of your brow. And a lot of times, as long as you didn't like completely sabotage your brows, <laughs> you'll have even wings that way. If that makes sense, I hope it does. If I don't ever do like one fail swoop with my eyeliner, I always make sure that I do it in sketches, like sketch strokes, because if I tried to go straight across, my line will not be straight that way. So I do them, in, and I never start on one side and go straight across. I always start like in the middle somewhere, and I'll go over one way, and then I'll meet it. And then, you know, you can always go back and smooth it out, you know.
Yeah, I couldn't do it all. You know, I see these videos where people go, whoop, one fell swoop. I'm like, you are talented. Because I can't do it that way. Fergie's, I've never tried that. Hi, Patty. Now, I knew that Fergie came out with nail polish, but I didn't know she came out with makeup, too. Sarah, thank you. Yeah, he has a puppy insurance, so we shouldn't have to pay for anything when we go. We pay a monthly payment for him, for his insurance. Yeah, you won't use, I, I, see, to use a liquid eyeliner, the best thing to use is a stipple brush. But make sure you get a small stipple brush. Make sure it's small. All right, let me set my face. You really don't need that much, but I guess it's not good. All right. Bye, Michelle. Thank you. I'll update you guys later and let you know how he's doing. I'm going to take um, that Dream Glow highlighter that I'm supposed to use. It's, it's a baked highlighter. So that little sponge brush that you were asking about, I normally use that brush to do my highlighting under my brow. And then my inner corner. This is a brow definer brush from Real Techniques. Sometimes they come bent, but this one comes bent, but sometimes you find these brushes when they're not bent. Hi, Nadia. He, um, I, he, he probably is going to need stitches in his toe. He was running through the house just now, and he snatched his foot in the air vent. I guess he must have broke it and snatched his foot out of it. Like, he must have stomped on it. I was just telling everybody, it sounds like he's stomping through the house. Yeah, I think he, he had to have broke it and um, got his foot caught in it because he's bleeding everywhere. So I'm fixing to have to rush him to the doctor real fast. I think I'm going to have to buy him a muzzle because he doesn't, he hasn't been taking his strangers too well lately. I don't know if it's because we don't bring him around people or what. Like he used to be, like when he was a puppy, he used to love attention from strangers. Now he's getting real protective because he's realizing he's big and strong and his testosterone's kicking in. But, um. That got a little bit too much. Let me just wipe some of that away. One thing, if you guys don't take anything else away from my eyeshadow techniques, is you're always, when you're using a brush, unless it's a flat brush, if it's a flat brush, you use the side. But make sure you're only using the tips of the bristles. Okay? When you're using a blending brush, you're using the tips. You're not squishing the brush on your face because squishing the brush on your face isn't going to accomplish anything. It's going to just smudge your stuff and it's not going to blend. Muscles? You mean like his muscles? Like, 
are you talking about food muscles? All right, that highlighter is pretty. <laughs> yeah, I heard that once they hit puberty, that makes them meaner. Sophie, I gotta get up, baby. We gotta take Moses to the doctor. He got hurt. Sophia, you getting up, baby? We gotta take Moses to the doctor. He got hurt. Muzzles. Yeah, he don't have a muzzle. We need to get him one. I don't want him to bite the doctor. <laughs> On his toe, baby. His toe hurts. He hurt. He's bleeding. Huh? His toe. He hurt it when he was walking or running to the house. That is a pretty highlighter. Yeah. On his toe, baby. On his toe. I didn't say muscle. <laughs> I did say muscle, but I didn't mean to. It's okay. Alright, go potty so we can take him to the doctor, baby. Get up. Alright, I need to use all these mascaras. I don't care. Your throat hurts. Why? Alright, this is the Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt Hydra Oz Waterproof. I should... I hate waterproof mascaras. I like water. I like mascaras that don't claim to be waterproof, but they are. That's what I like. I don't like the ones that say they're waterproof because they're so hard to get out of your lashes. I'll try. I'll do it tomorrow. To show you. I'll do it just for you. And never apply the liquid highlighter straight to the face. Put it on the back of your hand. Dip your brush in it, and then and then go in with it that way. Because what happens is if you put it on straight on your face, you're going to have a hard time blending it. Especially if you've got like setting powder and stuff on your face. Because you know what happens when you put a liquid on top of a powder. That's why it's good to use a stippling brush and you apply it on your hand first. Dip your brush in it and then go in with it. I had to do some research to figure that out. I did just get the Gigi Hadid false fiber lash mascara yesterday. Hi Sam. You're so welcome. Alright, this is another one of those. This is a super thick, thick and fast or whatever it's called mascara. You are, so you need to get up and get dressed. Cause I gotta take the dog to the vet. You want him to keep bleeding? What? You want him to keep bleeding? Get up. Oh, 
He is. I just told you he was. His toe hurt. His toe is bleeding. It's bleeding everywhere. He needs to go to the doctor and let the doctor stitch it up. So get up and go to the bathroom, please. Muzzles for the dog's face so he doesn't bite anybody. Sorry guys, I know I do like the longest videos ever. That's because I chat and I read. Honestly, if I if I if I didn't chat with you guys, it would not take me anywhere near as long to do these videos. Like if I was one of those ladies that you're here, you're here. <laughs> okay, all right. So I'm about to do lashes. So I'm glad you made it back. But yeah, if I swiped the comments away and just got it done, I would be so much faster. All right, I'm gonna put some lip primer on. I'm waiting for the glue to dry, or not dry, but get tacky on those lashes. Hey, Laura. All right. That's called Manicatar Lip Primer. Okay, Ashley. <laughs> Baby, why? Are you using? It's only adult, I know, right, girl? It's not daddy. This is not daddy, baby. The I one do have I a use. Stick, but I don't is that know if I the one I use? What, baby? Is that the time I use? Yes. You All right, go find you some clothes. Do you know what you want to wear? Go pick out something. I know how. I want. I want to keep it. You want to keep what? I thought me and you were going to share that. To share the tablet? Yeah. Why would you think that? I didn't wait too long. I didn't put a huge amount of glue on these. These are mainly for volume. They're not really super long. So if you could put them on just right, they look so natural. Those tweezers, 
<laughs> I like those tweezers because they have the, the sh they're like the perfect cross between lash tweezers and the pointed tweezers. Do you see the difference with curling up these lashes? I don't know if you can tell. The, when I use these curlers, they, they curl the lashes up out of my line of sight and they give a lift, like a perfect lift. Not to mention that when you squeeze your natural lashes to your falsies, it makes them look a lot more natural and believable. And they feel so much better. They don't feel as heavy when you use a nice set of curlers like that. Did you see Moses' toe? Don't right not right now. Oh, that's good. No way. Why'd you lay him on my carpet? Go out there, Moses. Go. <laughs> yeah, it's right in front of the right in front of the band. You don't want to go down onto the band because you can separate them from from your um, base. So you want to crimp them right in front of the band. See, I bet you guys were like, oh no, what's it going to look like with the blue eyeshadow? You guys were probably freaking out when I put the blue under there like, oh man, she messed it up, didn't you? Didn't you? Never judge until you got it all finished. So when you're doing your own makeup, don't judge it until you got it all done. You were like, oh, I like how it's going. And then whenever you put the, um, oh, you're in share gel. And that, that sucks, doesn't it? You spamming people? You never curl them. I love to curl them. I used to not curl my falsies, but when you wear falsies, you know how sometimes they feel super heavy and they're in your line of sight, which can give you a headache? Use um, Ardell Lash Grip Glue. <laughs> Thank you, Colleen. Use Ardell Lash Grip Glue because I, I used to not be able to either. And make sure that you don't try to put them on until your glue is tacky. Because if you try to do it before then, you're just going to make a mess. And they're not going to stick. You're going to rub the glue off. And then when it finally does start to stick, it's going to have lifting. Because your glue is gone. Make it a point to try to put them on every day for seven days in a row. Once you, you've done that, it'll be such a breeze. Even if you don't get them on, at least try to put them on seven days in a row. I promise. It makes a difference. After that, you'll be hooked. You'll be hooked. <laughs> All right. Let me turn or zoom you guys out. Okay. Okay. Zoom you out. <laughs> kind of like this lip color without the lipstick, but I'm thinking, did we get an Ofra one? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this Ofra one. It's really brown. It is not a shade on the lip liner. Oh well.
over lipsticks always smell like candy. <laughs> Try swatching the glue. Huh? Kathleen, I sell them. I have, I just got a new stash of them in. Like Duo? Oh yeah, no. I don't like Duo. Well, it could be your glue, Ashley. Some glues have a, um, a fume. Because I can't use all glues either. There's some glues that make my eyes water really bad, so I know what you mean. Yeah, I can't use certain glues. There are some glues that come in the packs with your lashes. I just throw them out, and I just use my Ardell Lash Grip glue. The Ardell Lash Grip glue comes in a box, but the tube looks like this. It dries clear, but it comes out white, and it dries clear. So that is the best glue to use, in my opinion. That's strictly my opinion, but I recommend it to everybody, and everybody that uses it loves it. So my opinion matters. <laughs> I gotta get off of here, guys. I gotta go um, figure out what I'm doing with Moses. Let me go take a look at his foot again. And um, I'm gonna call the doctor and hurry up and buy spots for my raffle because next I'm gonna be raffling this off. I came, I saw, I contoured. That's next. So. Yeah, the long nails. Um, just use your tweezers. Don't use your nails. <laughs> I know. It's, it's always like that for me. That's why when I tell you guys, like, I'm the busiest person you know, I'm not lying. I swear. And it seems like when I think I've got my day planned out, stuff like this always happens. But with having such a large family, it's common. It's so common. Charlotte, you like duo. I love that little picture. I was gonna, I actually bought it for myself, but I, I don't have room for it. I see this one back here in the background. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, right there. I love makeup. I just bought another one that looks a lot like it, but it's by the same brand and it's gonna go up next to it. I like the frame. <laughs> All right guys, let me get off of here. I'll see you next time.